this is Cheryl back to share those two journals I was talking about um, this journal here is for my friend Donna and her store is vintage snippets on Etsy and um, I will put this one to the side for now and then we will go through it this is a journal that I will be selling in my Etsy store and I will list down below the the day and time both of these I've used antique coverlets from the 1800s this one has like a purple and it almost looks like like a dark green blackish color with the beige this one's kind of unique because I you know you see the blue all the time but this one has that lovely purpley color in it and it's it is kind of pretty and here I've used one of the the vintage yo-yos that I have in my kits and along with one of the the little quilted hearts I just turned it upside down because I needed one to kind of coordinate with the colors that that are here this is a antique tin type with a frame and you can you can also find these frames in your antique shops too so like I did on this one this is a um, reproduction of uh, an antique one that I own but I had this little antique tin type frame and put it around the image and it really makes it look more antique that way I've used a vintage coaster. I have like a set of, I think four of these, and I just thought it was a nice backdrop to the antique photo, and I embellished it with some cheesecloth and some pieces I cut out from another doily. And here we have a watchmaker's file, and it actually has some brass watch hands in there and we have some crocheted trim and I just I've closed it just with some white sorry it's not attached I just I'm including it because you know eventually when people start adding stuff to it I guess I shouldn't say people but the owner let's go inside I've used another piece of the coverlet to make a pocket. It's an antique calling card photo. Little cigar label. Railroad log page. And in here we have an optical lens and a pen nib, which is nice and primitive. And this one is an optical lens with more of a brass tone to it. Used Tim Holtz paper in here. This is Tim Holtz, the background here. Just thought, you know, with Tim Holtz, his papers are nice and antique, so it went with the theme and look I was going for. This is some of that antique, not antique, well I antiqued it, but it's some handmade paper. And this photo is from a picture that I have in my collection. This is one of um, Donna's vintage snippets, one of her ephemera pieces. Just added it to there. This is a little pocket storage. Vintage botanical page, double sided. Some vintage music, some aged up, just regular scrapbook paper. This is uh, an image from 1880s, it's French fashion. And eventually I'm going to have a digital put in my store. Etsy shop, a pinch it for the past, number one. This is a medical ledger page. Variety of different 
pages to write on. This is a page from my furniture, a vintage furniture book. Some little kids penmanship paper. Another one of those French fashion images. This is the love letter I have in my Etsy shop. It's dated 19, oh, not 19, 1862. This is from the Graphics Berry Premium Membership site. on the pages. This is an image from I think like 1850. I have some Patterson magazines from that period and it has a bunch of hand colored prints in each of the magazines. This was a pocket that Donna had made and sold in her Etsy shop. Not sure if she still is selling them or not, but she you have to look back periodically. But she's got some wonderful old looking ephemera pieces that she makes. Look at these fun envelopes that she's made. I really like those. She doesn't have a YouTube channel, so it'd be nice if everybody would go over there and show her some love. This is an, an etching or engraving that I have the original of, and it said the April shower, and when I made these journal, it was April. I had hoped to get these posted sooner, but never can find enough time to do anything, it seems, these days, especially when you don't feel 100%. This is just a French script page. I think this is one I bought from Kelly at Book and Paper Arts. Love her French ephemera kits. There's a little pocket that I made. Some ephemera, Shakespeare library card, playing card. And then this is French receipt. I have added this to my digital downloads in my Etsy shop. I added a pink marbling effect to the background, but it's really a pretty invoice, so if you want to go check that out, I will leave the link below. Oops, got a call on there. page and here we have a map from the graphics fairy that I printed out on the, the handmade paper. It's a map of France and I added it made a little pocket out of some of those French ladies and my embossing stamp. I bought my embossing stamp from an Etsy shop and it's just one of these you just send your logo and I got it pretty fast it's Sayabelle stamps I don't think it was very expensive either journaling card and I've included this as a vintage brass bookmark. Just love Tim Holtz papers. They're gorgeous. And that 
it's number 20. <laughs> I will, like I said, I'll put the date and time down below when this will be available. So let's look at the one that I made for Donna. We we um, agreed to do a, a journal trade and um, she's been very patient. I'm trying to play catch up on all my projects. I owe my friend Lynn from Bo Mockingbird and Maine a journal and gotta get that done too. And of course I have a journal for the graphics fairy that I need to finish as well, which I've started doing the next segment. So hopefully I can get that to, to Karen soon. This is a, a, a really tiny little journal. I just, I, I actually like the smaller sizes better. I, this was an antique book, but again, I used the antique coverlets from the 1800s. It's like a, a peachy color with a blue. This one has a watch maker's vial with a black watch hand in there. And this frame I got, it, it was a, it was white originally and I coffee stained it and I got this from Denise's shop, A Tattered Dream. Not sure if she still has those or not, but I hope so because this is my last one and I do like them. And I also got those little rusty safety pins from her. And then I've attached one of the rusty hearts and an antique button and another little heart quilt cutouts. And again, this, this here is an actual antique frame. And the picture in there is a reproduction of one I have in my collection and he kind of reminds me of the portraits Rufus Porter did back in that time period because I think the date on this one was like 1820s and that's about the time Rufus Porter was doing murals in New England and stuff and I and there was an article in a book that I have and part of me wonders if maybe this wasn't one that he did it wasn't signed or anything but it looked so much like the ones that he had done. I made it kind of primitive, added the, the fabric in between, you know, so it would stick out the sides. And I've added the hand crocheted cotton trim to the sides, added a lace vintage this pocket. This is Tim Holtz paper. They're just it's the smaller packs of scrapbook paper. This is a vintage piece. This is, I think, one of Tim Holtz's. Love threes. Anything with threes in it. <laughs> and this image here is one that I have. I just, I just love these ladies. Some coffee stained music paper, blank music paper. This is from a vintage curtain book. Some aged tracing paper. Here we have the the um, botanical book. I have two of these for sale in in my Etsy shop. Let me show you one of them. is the book and it's just I love the texture of the paper so it's good for collaging too but I love all the botanicals they're all in black and white and I've seen a lot of like collage artists they'll use those types of botanicals in there Ooh, it has some goodies in it <laughs> interesting you never know what you're gonna find in these these books so if you're interested, you can go check that out. That's in my Etsy shop. And then I am going to be listing this one too because this one is really nice. You have every page has the botanicals. So this one's gorgeous. I haven't done the listing yet because I've 
thinking about keeping it for myself. <laughs> Back to the book. Here we have Ledger Page and some more vintage book page. This is from the Graphics Fairy and I just shrunk it down. The silhouette is one that I created back in the 90s when my mom and I used to have a business that was, I guess you would compare it to like the farmhouse style of today, but it was more primitive, early American, and it's kind of what these journals are. They're kind of a reflection of, of my past and what I used to be interested in. But And, and um, Donna collects antiques, and, and she has the same style that I do. We love... We love the primitive look. Fabric, you can practice some stitching, cross stitch. It's another silhouette combined watercolored portrait. It's a reprint, of course. Another one of those French fashion ladies. And this is, of course, the little love letter. I incorporated one of these, this one as well. The digital is in my Etsy shop. I love that one because it's an actual love letter. This is some Tim Holtz paper. So is this. Just made a journaling card out of it. This is a reprint from a farmer's almanac that I have. Just love the scene. I should, I should make a digital of that so you guys could have it. It's just, it's wonderful, and you can also print the back and make it into a little journal. I just shrunk it down, and just a little half page. This, I just love this. I have an antique newspaper, and these were the advertisements in the back. Just love it. And I printed it out on brown paper. More ledger. And this image, which I will put the link below, I bought this from an Etsy shop that sells just vintage and antique photos. And I wanted to find one with a willow tree because Donna has a ginormous willow tree. And I'm so envious of it because I have... I. I got two for Mother's Day a couple years ago, and they still just look like branches sticking out of my front yard, but I'm hoping one day they'll look as beautiful as hers. And this was an advertisement in that window treatment book that I had. And of course, you know, I have a thing for clocks, so included that, some embossed paper. Lots of places for her to write. I really didn't go crazy with the embellishments because I really didn't want to make it all big and fat. I'll let her choose what she wants to put in it. This is a bird card. I added some aged cheesecloth. I think this one I got from Kelly because it's a, a different type and I really like it. I bought one of her couple of, I think maybe, I guess maybe I only bought one of her French kits, but I just absolutely love them full of goodness. <laughs> oh, and these were two other silhouettes that I cut out and included. Oh, I thought maybe I would just leave it loose so if she wanted to put it in a frame. And we're getting close to the end. <laughs> this was a French ephemera piece from the Graphics Fairy. I just shrank it down to the size I needed. That one I think was fairly large. And this is just an antique photo I had. I made a copy and then added antique paper. Book page to the back. I love this trim. It has OXO. <laughs> I think it's this. Donna has been so sweet to me. Since I haven't been feeling well, she checks on me periodically. See if I'm still there. <laughs> I hope she likes it. I think it's sweet. Let me see, was there anything else I wanted to share with you all? I think maybe that was it for this video, but I have another 
journal that I I made and I can't wait to show you that one. That one is from Nazi's Amity Bloom. I took her artist in bloom course and it was fabulous. I'm going to give you a sneak peek of it. But it turned out, I think, really pretty. And, you know, her it was challenging because, you know, you get used to making journals the way you normally make them. So, but I had made it. I just never put it together. I had done all the pages and stuff and then I sat it in a box. But since my creativity finally has somewhat returned, I decided to start finishing up things that I started. But I think it turned out pretty. But I will do a, a whole separate video on this next. So I hope you all have a wonderful day and we will chat soon. Bye.